Hi, math friends. We're starting chapter 8 today with chapter 8.1, function tables. The four vocabulary terms that we're going to focus on are function, function table, independent variable, and dependent variable. We'll look at these as we're going through the lesson. I won't overwhelm you with definitions right now. So let's go through. Whenever you have a function, we think of this as like a machine, something that you put one thing in and another thing comes out and a whole bunch of stuff happens inside that machine. Every function, just like every machine, is different. This function that I chose to draw here is called the function junction. That means whatever we put in here, which is our independent variable, which is our input. Look at that. Independent and input both start with in. It's a really good way to remember that. Independent and in. Whatever we put in here, let's say I put in, let's put in 12. 12 is going to go through this machine. It gets all changed around, goes through the gears, and what happens to it? 12 becomes x, so 12 gets put here. We add 11 to it. 12 plus 11, we can do that. We know our order of operations, and this is just adding two numbers together. 12 plus 11 is 23. Your output is also called your dependent variable. When you graph, your independent variable is going to be x and your dependent variable is going to be y. These are really important notes to take, so we should be writing something like this down. Then we're going to look at a couple examples. In our first example, we have to complete this table. We have three inputs given for x, we have our function, and then we have our output. Our function, we're going to plug in that number. We're substituting. So x is 0 here, plus 11. 0 plus 11, I put 0 into the machine, and 11 comes out. Next one is 1 is our input. So now I'm going to have 1, sub substituting that in for x, 1 plus 11, 12 comes out. If we plug in 2 for x, we put in 2 into our machine, we have 2 plus 11, and 13 comes out at the end. In our second example, we have four inputs now, 0, 1, 2, and 3, to put into our function machine. Our function machine this time is different, it's 7x. Remember when the number is directly next to the variable, you're multiplying. And then we have to find our output. We're going to substitute 0 in for x here. So we have 7 times 0. 7 times 0 is 0. So for this machine, when we put in 0, we we're left with 0. Now we're going to put in 1. 7 times 1 is 7. We put in 1 to this machine and 7 came out. The next number we're going to throw into this machine is 2. Remember, substitute that 2 in for x. 7 times 2. And 7 times 2 is 14. So when our input was 2, 14 came out. That was our output. Lastly, we're going to plug in 3 here for x. So we have 7 times 3, and 7 times 3 is 21. So we put in 3, and out came 21. One important thing that we're going to pay attention to in this chapter 2 is patterns. We went from 0 to 7 to 14 to 21. And that's as x increased by 1 each time. Looking at this word problem here, this says, Billy has two more than twice the number of trophies than his brother Jimmy has. The function rule, 2x plus 2, where x is the number of trophies Jimmy has, can be used to find the number of Billy's trophies. What you're going to do here is make a table showing Billy's trophies when Jimmy has 20, 30, and 40 trophies. Then graph the function. Here's what our table looks like. We have Jimmy's trophies our function, and Billy's trophies. When we plug in 20, we have 2 times 20 plus 2. Remember, with order of operations, we have to do multiplication first. 2 times 20 is 40. 40 plus 2 is 42. Our next number we're plugging in is 30. So we have 2 times 30 plus 2. And 2 times 30 is 60 plus 2 is 62. Lastly, we're plugging in 40. Remember that 40 plugs in for our x in our function. 
2 times 40 plus 2, which is 82. So we know when Jimmy has 20 trophies, Billy has 42. When Jimmy has 30 trophies, Billy has 62. When Jimmy has 40 trophies, Billy has 82. Now we're going to graph this. Let's take a look at our graph. We have our x-axis, which is Jimmy's trophies, that's our independent variable, and we have our y-axis, which is Billy's trophies, that's our dependent variable. We want to graph this. When we graph this, we need to look back at our number of Jimmy's trophies compared to the number of Billy's trophies. When Jimmy had 20, Billy had 42. So we need to find Jimmy's. I'm going to go over 20. And then for Billy, we're going to go up to 42. We also need to name that ordered pair. So this is 20, comma, 42. Remember, x comes before y. Our next ordered pair is 30, 62. So we're going to go over 30 first, and then we're going to go up 62. So we're going to label that 30, 62. Our final ordered pair for this is 40, 82. So we're going to go over 40, and then up 82. So this is 40, 82. We, labeled, we graphed our three points and we labeled them.